some cool water in a little plastic container, a tube that connects it to the engine and a dry cell battery backup that can heat up the water. According to this person from the city's GSS Institute of Technology, just add this contraption on and you can watch your mileage grow and your emissions reduce next to nothing. It's an electrolyzer which splits water into its diatomic form that is hydrogen and oxygen which has been uh, passed to the engine intake. There it enhances the burning property of the fuel. We got a drastic uh, change in the mileage uh, before uh, implementing our cell and after implementing by around uh, 11 to 12, uh, 12 kilometers we got the mileage. Some modern day bikes are fitted with an expensive catalytic converter which burns the carbon monoxide produced and releases it as a much more healthier carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. But this happens at the exhaust pipe level. What you see in this variant is burning with the same carbon monoxide but it happens at the engine level. That's why it burns fuel far better. That's your recipe to milk the best mileage out of every litre of petrol. All it needs now is a little refining. We can use you know, petrol, diesel or gas and uh, for that engines we can use water as an additive. In our future plan, we have to run the whole thing, whole vehicle using water only. That's our future plan and I think we will succeed in it. And with hardly any campus placement this season thanks to the global meltdown, these contemporary Ramar Pillai's hope they can ride to fame on clean fuels once they attract a company that will fund their technology. With K. Karthik in Bangalore, Deepa Balakrishnan.